Yeah, hi there, Year 12. I'd like us to interact with this ballistic pendulum animation. It's pretty hard to be shooting things at over 100 meters per second in class, and so this is a good one to be doing virtually. So we have a bullet, which is 0.1 meters per second. Um, kilograms or we can change its mass and obviously a smaller mass will have smaller amount of momentum because mass times velocity and uh, will cause us to go um, to a less height uh, so we fire it again and it goes up and so in this experiment we're going to be combining our understanding of the conservation of energy and our understanding of the conservation of momentum so we're going to pull these two ideas together and so if we fire this and we see that at the very top of its um, path it gets to a height of about 0 0.78 meters. So let's see if we can work out how much gravitational potential energy this has got. So at the top of its height, it's got some gravitational potential energy, which is mass times gravity times height. Uh, what is the mass? Well, it's the four kilograms of the block plus the 0 0.1 kilograms of the bullet that's embedded inside times by gravity of 9.8 times the height um, of 0 0.78. Um, meters, and so if we type that into our calculator, uh, 4.1 times 9.8 times 0.78, uh, we get an answer of 31.34 joules of energy. And we're going to assume energy is conserved, so the gravitational potential energy is equal to the kinetic energy, and I know that um, 31.34 will then equal a half mass times velocity squared. If I wanted to rearrange that, I'd get 2EP divided by M square rooted equals velocity. And so let's have a go at that. 2 times this energy, 31.34, divided by the mass, which is still uh, 4 plus 0 0.1. And if I square root all of that, that'll give me the velocity of the block and the ball, or the block and the ball after it's um, entered. So 2 times 31.34 divided by 4.1 square root answer is about 3.909 meters per second. So that's what this velocity is. So this velocity after the collision is that. And so if I want to work out how much momentum um, does this block have, well, momentum is going to be mass times velocity. Uh, what's the mass um, of this whole thing, well, it's going to be 4 plus 0 0.1. What's this velocity? Well, its velocity is 3.909. If I multiply those numbers together, I get about 16.0 kg ms minus 1 of momentum. And if we assume there's no external forces, then I can assume the momentum before is going to be momentum after. And so um, I know the mass of the bullet before, so I know it's going to be 0 0.1 times the velocity is going to be equal to the momentum after. So velocity is 16 divided by 0.1, which gives me 160.3 meters per second. Okay, so we're going to click this button, show me the initial speed. And when I do that, I get 160 meters per second. Cool. So there's two versions of this one. So you can play around uh, with this animation a little bit and change the speed. And then you can click the second, which takes you to this one called Ballistic Pendulum Quiz. And so you can change the speed and you can change the mass and you can change that mass. And now you have to go through the calculations I've just done to work out well, what is the speed of that bullet based on the height that it gets to and so you've got to get that height basically right and then go through those calculations so have a go at that and see if you can uh, get the right answer cheers